right? If I'm seeing that right. And do that. Yeah, because we're heading to Knight's home. We gotta go to the spire. Grab some methane. Alright, let's do that. Let's go to the lighthouse. And two days travel. Uh oh. New sector discovered. Oh, here we go. Decay. Oh, so there were new sectors to discover. I wonder why it said that there. I wonder why it looked like there wasn't any new sectors to discover. Weird. Got good light, no population. Bring us the. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Okay, eventually we'll have to get over there to see. I assume there's just nothing there right now. Um, yeah, so there's Lighthouse. Go here, and then we're going to have to... How many farms are we got? Hit up every one of these, right? Farm. Farm. Yeah, I sure wish I could, like, say, just grab me all the food. Can I just... Uh, <laughs> Output is unlimited. No, and we're going to have to go to every... We're going to have to bounce to every farm. Looks like... Wish I could just grab them all without that. There's a storage up here, too. I wonder if... Go to the storage shop. I mean, I know it says zero here, but if you go to the storage hub and trade with it, will it automatically pull from all the other ones? Storage stations act as central storage for a sector. Resources needed in a sector will be bought. Products made there will be sold. It works that way. I see something. I'm just, I'm just curious because I, I. That would kind of make sense because it's like trade, right? Because it just says trade here. Um. But I'm wondering, I, I know it says it has zero resources, but nobody is depositing any of their stuff into the storage hub, which is what's kind of strange. Like, you would think that there would be small runs going within a system where it's taking stuff out of the output of things and putting them into the storage hub so that you can kind of pull from them. But it doesn't look like that's happening. I'm wondering if the storage hub is sort of an automatic thing where I can just say... Give me all the stuff from the from the um, that's entirely in this system because that would be really really convenient and awesome. But I have a feeling that that might not be how it works. But we'll see here. We shall see in a moment. Also, did my other trade fleet uh, complete its thing? Not yet. I mean, they're there. Well, they're just starting their trade. Okay. They are just starting their trade. Also, I should see about upgrading this guy. If I can do it in this system or not. Trade. Trade. Okay, if I wanted to grab all the food. I'm going to re 
resort. No, it doesn't look like it. Overflow, empty bay. Food. No. No, it's not working. Crap. That would be so convenient, too. But no, we gotta go to every single one of these things. Which kinda sucks. Which kinda sucks. Repair outpost. I mean, let's go to repair outpost and upgrade our ship while we're here. It's just a little hop, skip, and jump here. And then, yeah, we're gonna have to go to every individual thing there. Yeah, it, it's it's funny, like, a big ship like this doesn't have maybe, like, automated drones or something that you could just send out that would just go out and pick up all the stuff and bring it back to you. That's, that would be, I mean, there is a mod kit for this, for this game that's available. Um... I now have some ideas for some mods if I ever get around to it. <laughs> At least two, right? Right. One is like resource hubs that, uh, or storage hubs that act as actual hubs. And two would be just being able to do, like having your big ships, certain big ships have uh, drones that you can send out that would automatically go and trade stuff. You don't have to go to every individual um, station. I kind of feel like the storage hub one would be better because then it's like, yeah, you just go in here and you just trade with the station or something, you know, or at least have it where these things automatically, like every day, refresh the storage hub or something, you know, like all the output goes to the storage hubs. Uh, let's go do an upgrade. What do we got here? Uh, let's go. 70,000 credits. Well, it's probably worth it. So, I'll do that. And the RCS thrusters. 5,000 credits. Or, there you go. Just to, so the ship can get around a lot, hopefully a lot faster. Um, and now we gotta go to a farm and grab all its food. There we go. Now we're, now we're moving with some purpose. That's, that's nice. That's very nice. Speaking of, I wonder if I... Did I upgrade all of my... I didn't upgrade that other ship that we just got, though, did I? Uh... Portal map. The, um... Guy, right? What do you have on you? Can I upgrade you? Oh, yes, I can. 5,000 and 3,000. Yeah. Get all the upgrades on all, on all the ships that we own. Make sure everything's upgraded so everything's moving as fast as it possibly can. I don't think it actually matters when the AI is taking control of it, but I still want to make sure. Yeah, see, now the telescope says stopped. That's what happened before. And so that's why I... wonder why it's... Not, I guess it's automatically stopping? I guess after... Oh, I guess after every discovery now, it's automatically stopping? Because it costs... 5,000 credits, but that's weird. I never... I thought it did a whole bunch of discoveries before it did that, but maybe... Maybe not. Maybe it was always doing that, and I didn't realize. Yeah. 
Okay, that's fine. Yeah, just keep producing. Don't stop on my on my behalf. Um Oh, we're docked here now. Go and read for your food. I have a whole lot of credits, though. Your info. Arm. Dock there. I mean, we'll get a bunch of that back, but, you know. We will haulage to the dig. Trade 100 fuel from lighthouse to the dig. Hmm? Going to... Forge. Should probably pick you up so we go into the forge. You're going frozen realm. And you're going to shore of ice. Blue in the forge. Cool. I mean the forge and the dig are very close to by. I think we have a fuel thing close by though, so let's we're going to the forge anyway, so we'll pick this guy up and take him. Thousand credits. Um we still need to grab some silica. Oh that's grab that at the forge. Okay, never mind. So it's just methane we need to grab right now. Well after we grab this guy. And we'll clean this place out of food. Yeah. Uh, food. Bang. Their info. Farm and farm. Back there. So I need money for the methane, though. I guess I'm not around. So you're still 929 credit, negative 929 credits per day. Has me a little bit concerned. Everything else is positive. I don't know why that one is negative. Just because of the travel time? Between Spire and Crossroads? Yeah, it might be. It might be due to that. It should be making money, though. Like it's buying at 36 credits a unit and selling at theoretically 49 credits a unit. Although it says it hasn't traded anything yet. I don't know when it's going to buy to trade. The starting trade. Hmm. Alright, I just gotta give it a just gotta give it a chance. I guess. Being impatient. Alright, we're not gonna grab any more of that. Let's go... Spire and get what we need here. Uh, Fortix Travel. Yep. There we go. That's now in the positive. Excellent. 
That's what I want to see. I want to see all green numbers here. Pretty good. Uh, I had a specific one. Oh, we didn't pick up this guy. Pick him up. <laughs> pick him up the next time around. Um, I needed to pick up from a specific thing, right? No, I don't. Okay. Cool. We just got to make a beeline to Knight's Home and start get some money here. Um, oh, how much did it need? For the methane. 155. I'm just going to get just 155, I think. I'm just going to get what we need because we're a little bit tiny bit low on the on the on the the monies and actually I'll stop off on uh, on the way and pick up that VIP again because <laughs> I always forget I always I always like yeah yeah sure I'll pick you up and then I leave the system and and there's they're like hey um you didn't forget about me did you oh no I didn't I didn't forget about you I'll swing around in a little bit <laughs> Hope you didn't have anywhere important to be. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. If you're if you're hitching a ride on on a f long haul freighter, then you you've got nowhere to be anytime soon, especially when you're traveling around the solar system. Just say, just just say. It's a mindset. It, it, it is what it what it comes down to. <laughs> Uh, well, this is certainly hauling ass now with the with the upgrades. Great. Oh, that was the other thing. I was I was starting to look at the um, at all of my ships to see if they were all upgraded uh, before I got distracted. This guy. Uh, does he have all of his upgrades? Rana. I don't, I don't actually know. Oh, yeah. I think he does because I upgraded him. That was the one I was using, I think. This guy's upgraded. I think this guy is upgraded? Question mark. Yeah, he's got the best thing there and the best thing there. He's definitely upgraded as far as he can go. Uh, and you are... can't tell right now, but I think we've got most of them... I think we have most of them fully upgraded. So, that's always a good thing. Go buy some methane. Um, thousand. Uh, nine credits per unit. Now I need um. How much did I need? I needed uh, a lot less than that. One hundred and fifty-five. Okay. Yeah. Um. So let's just grab 155 for now. Five. Confirm. Okay. And. Yeah. All right. Now. The. Uh, Come back here and pick up this person. All right. Four days travel. You see, this goes into the red as it's going on its long trek. It's four days? Five days? Yeah, I think it's more than four days. It's Yeah. I forget how many days it is between these two. But it's quite the distance, so that's why it's going into the into the red there. The bits. 
But if I get my research going, then find a couple more artifacts, then we'll be able to uh, afford the fast travel. Which, stressingly, is the same amount as advanced stations, and advanced stations is something I really need. <laughs> but also, fast travel would be a game changer, I think, for me. Because everything would suddenly start making more money per day, I would say. Let's go to 5 out of 10 artifacts. We'll have to go over to UK at some point and see just to explore it. Uh, it's going to be a few days until it produces something else. Uh, my research lab is waiting for resources. It needs M3. Wasn't I just somewhere that has a bunch of helium-3? Or am I losing it? Hmm. Spire. Yeah, Spire produces it. It only has 260 in stock. Yeah, I could stop off at the Spire again and grab it on the way over. But it's probably, it's going to take me longer to do that, go around. Eh, doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, did we pick this guy up? I think we did. Let's go back to the spire. Four days. Go. And... We gotta grab some hydrogen. No, um... What did we need? Helium-3. Helium pump station area. Uh, one that has more stuff than that. Wait. Is that it? You only have 60? That'd be more than that, right? Hydrogen, 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 methane, habitation, methane, 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 hydrogen. 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 Uh, helium. We only have six. What to the rest of it? Huh. Um, well, I guess that's... I guess that's the 60 we're going to have to bring over. I thought it said they had 200 on there. Where does it say? Oh, yeah, no, it only says 60 now. Okay. Yeah. Technically, I could go to the forge and they don't actually use it. I don't know why they have it in stock. It's because they need that much, but they don't actually use it. Doesn't look like. So why have that in stock forge? And you know what? We're heading to the forge anyway. Alright, well, when we get to the forge, I will buy their stock out I guess and then take it to the stuff that I need <laughs> take it to my my station so my research continues and all that stuff yeah cause we're going to forge one way or the other 
just gotta make a make a mental note of that. Did we um we haven't docked yet, right? Yeah, we're coming in now. Trade. Take all of your stuff. Alright, now. I go to Knight's Home. What is that? Eight days? And what is the Ford? Four days. Okay, I guess we're going to go to the Ford first. Go there. Board. Am. Okay. So we gotta drop you off somewhere. Right there. Go dock with that right now. I figure out what the heck else is going on here. Tools delivery in lighthouse. Four hundred tools. Order delivery, um, Frozen Realm, and under plastics at the forge. You want to go? For, you want to go Frozen Realm and another one for Lighthouse. The water to them. I'm not mistaken. Frozen Realm has lots of water, right? Yeah, it's um depth. Oh. I was not expecting the depths to be the one, but I guess that makes sense. They're producing a whole lot and not using any of it. And who really needs it? Boneyard. Uh. I mean, that makes sense. That might be another thing, too. Because they're... Because what would you buy for it? Yeah, 15 and sell for 17. Yeah, not really... These aren't huge numbers. You know, it's more like... Doing contracts that really get you any kind of money here. And having a lot of trade routes going, I guess, too. Okay. Dropping this guy off, right? And then... We have a contract to complete... delivery okay uh, oh I don't have the 800 iron oxide though because I did it for the other thing right I only have 130 <laughs> uh, right did that we make more These are all like level one mines as well, so they're very, very slow. Iron mines. Then you got my iron mine, which is the same thing. It's very, very slow. Do like the and here's the other thing. They're running out of fuel. Oh, there's. All kinds of things have popped up around here. Repair outposts. More iron mines. Um, oh, well, there was a repair outpost here, but the iron mine... 
This one is under construction. No. Oh, they're moving in on me. Constructing another level one iron mine. Uh, and a habitation center is here now. By consumer resources. Hmm. But this, uh, yeah, it's going to be a fuel thing. What produces fuel? There's a thing that produces it. And that uh, it just takes water in, right? I think it's the um, solar power plant, right? Converts water into fuel through electrolysis. Yeah. There are two stations in this sector already. In this sector there are? For solar power? Uh, maybe in the sector that I'm... No. Oh. Not how that works. Okay. Anyway, um, maybe it's two stations in the sector that I'm currently in. That would keep, because this would be really good because it would keep the fuel flowing. Requires good sun exposure though, which. This is reduced light, so that's not really going to work there. Uh, how about output? Lights. First light? Reduced light. <laughs> um, I think all these are reduced light as well, right? Yeah. Winter Junction. Actually, Winter Junction has good light. There is a solar power plant here already. Um... Right, so that keeps us going in the fuel department, but there isn't a helium-3 thing here. Wish I could do that. You know, the helium pump station, but it can only be built in geostationary sector. I <laughs> haven't found... We only, have, we only have the one geostationary sector. All right, what are we doing here on this? Um, we gotta get the Knights home. Let's get everything going here in Knights home so I can get these turned in um, here. So we get some some money going. Uh, was there? Uh, thing that I was docked to. What was I docked to here? There was, I was going to do something else here. I forget now. That's no factory. Oh, uh, that's where I had to buy the stuff for the one thing, right? Yeah. Which we have 100 tools, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now we just got to go. Down the night's home, which is seven days. Fast forward. Go. And, uh, the contracts, tools haulage we've got here. Go dock there and sell it. thing do that thing what you do
That's a... <laughs> there was a terrifying flip and burn. Like, are you sure we have enough clearance to do that, Clarence? <laughs> Just curious to see how much money we get from all these contracts. If it was worth all this coordination. Find out here. 100 tools, confirm transfer. Okay, and methane delivery. Right there. Go dock that. This is the try and keep our own try and keep our own stuff going is gonna be rough as we have lots of when we have lots of uh um stations going on. I mean I was kinda doing that. I have that one ship go by and unload stuff. I'm wondering whether I should just put up for another Soren. And have it just do resupply runs. You know, just to keep our, our stuff supplied. But then again, I mean, that might be a bit overkill. Uh, because it's going to be... I really only need that for at certain times. All the rest of the time, it'll just be kind of hanging around with nothing to do. Transfer. Uh, now, what? Iron oxide delivery. Uh, in Knight's home, E7. We have. Do the Demos Steelworks. Right around the corner here. I guess it, um, that explains the flip, I guess. It actually, uh, has a bigger nubbin that we have to slide into here. Yeah, okay. That explains it. Like, there was a perfectly good port on the other side, and I realized, no, that's not big enough anymore for our ship. Um, iron oxide. Let's transfer. In fact, you know what? You can have some more. Why not? Because I'm feeling, I'm feeling uh, giving, I'm in a giving mood. Uh, okay. So that contract is done. Look at haulage. Mars home. So we gotta go grab this silica. Up to 58,000? I don't know if that was a net positive or not. Um, 
We'll have to do this 800 iron oxide, which... I uh, don't think there's still enough of that yet. Uh, so, silica haulage then. Go grab that. Oh, was that not a... Uh... Oh, from the forge in my room. Ah, I forgot to do it while I was in the forge. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I knew I would forget something. Uh, alright, well, that's seven, seven days back that way. Do it. My duck. Not having all these slots filled up though is making us more or less profitable. <laughs> uh, oh, and where was I going to sell that food to? I, I I feel like I completely passed that up now. Uh, Frozen Realm. Yeah, I was going to sell it to Frozen Realm. Which, um, one day's back the other way. <laughs> I should have thought about that while I was over here. Uh, it would have, would have worked out. Next night delivery to forge. Wow. 1600 now. So, 800 to Hattie Steelworks. 1600 to Fenrir Steelworks. I don't think there's enough of that even anywhere. Iron oxide. Stock. Yeah, there's like 68 stock. <laughs> Myers home. And that is it. There is nothing more of that anywhere. Um, so I'm thinking I need to... I need to upgrade my iron production, basically. Um, which would be, so where was that contract taking you to? Ford. Yeah, I mean, like, they need iron oxide badly in the forge. Just left, right, and center here. Um, and I'm producing iron oxide not fast enough to do it. wonder if I... If I go to dig. Iron and silica to the forge or ice. I wonder if I change this to not pick up the iron. And let this, like, if I turn trade off on this, and leave trade on fuel, and then tell my trade fleet not to not to go there anymore, just go to the silica mine and do shore of ice with the silica mine, right? Then I can let this build up, although we need some fuel here, but I can let this build up and I can start to do some of these contracts that need iron oxide, although he can only do 400. Um, if I upgrade him to level two, which I don't think there's too many mines that are level two, I might be able to do it. And this station's still under construction. So, we got time there. 
what would it take to upgrade this? It's probably another, it's another 40,000 credits, I know that. Um, Unlimited, okay. Um, 100 steel, 100 plastics, 100 tools again. 1,000 credits. I think it's probably going to be worth it because there is no iron we had anywhere right now. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to upgrade you. There's still 100 plastic, 100 tools. Right. Uh, don't trade with them. This is cool steel. Okay. So then, uh, let me go to my map. Let me go to this. And what I'm going to do is say, don't load iron. Delete that from there. Uh, we'll delete this all together going to the forge we'll just have him do the dig shore vice right now and we'll rename this to my my silica to shore of ice okay good yeah yeah, let's do it that way. That seems like a good thing. Uh, did he already grab any stuff? He got some iron already. Um, also, can I upgrade you? You have the most upgrades, right? Um, let's go. Yeah, he's got some iron already on there. It's gonna be a Fun little thing. Um, where are we at? Over here. Um, got a lot of iron on there too. Uh, let's go. Ooh. Can I tell you to return that to where you found it? <laughs> Can I do that? Waiting for resources. All right. Um, well, no, you couldn't return it there anyway because it's, yeah. I wonder if he'll... No, he probably won't. Let me um, pause that for a moment. Let me have you go to the forge. My silica to shore voice. Okay. Have you trading stranded or intercept? Trading stranded. Or... All right, I'll have to probably wait a day. Because it's he's still in the midst of trading I guess he still thinks he's trading so we'll have to wait a day and then I'll have to send him over there um but anyway where where am I I'm in the fort right what do I have on board Ooh. oh right and the food's gotta go where does the food have to go <laughs> I'm so like all over the place um, food has to go to Frozen Realm. All right. Over there now. Let me make sure I have all these. Do I pick up this other contract? 800? I think I do. Just because. 
Um, you're going to Crossroads? Eh. I'm not going to Crossroads. Okay. Let's, yeah, let's just pick that up for the sake of picking it up. Let's uh, go to... Where did I say I was going? Frozen Realm. Down here. Seven days. Okay. Let's skip one day. Right? And then... Um, Go here? No. Uh, go here. And we'll see this guy. Travel there. There we go. Skip day, skip day. Good. Alright. And now you're here. I want you to trade that iron uh, with this guy. There you go. Day. You raid. In trade. Oh, I have to say what to trade. But, duh. Okay. Um. World map. Skip. Good. All right, train complete. So now uh, you should start this back, right? Because you're empty now. There you go. That's exactly what I want you to do. Okay, good. I got that straight. Uh, now. Vector info. Who wants some food? Those food is output there. So do they have a they have a storage hub? Yes, let's go dock with the storage hub and then we can just throw the food in there. They can use whatever they need. Go dock there. <laughs> that takes up to 5k and it's still they're still gonna um, they're still going to look a haulage to Myers home the forge oh did I forget to do that I forgot to do that didn't I I was just in the forge too now I'm going to have to go back to the forge <laughs> Uh, yep. Electronics to live. Again, not enough electronics to even do all these. So that's a thing. Where do you want to go? From the forge to crossroads. Still don't want to do that. Still don't want to do it. Um... And actually, the forge. Oh, technically, selling that 800 or selling that 80 there actually worked because I sold it to the right place. <laughs> That's right. I could do it from any any uh, any ship then, right? Which means technically, I could have one of my ships constantly running back and forth. I guess. But, yeah. Oh, I gotta go back to the forge anyway to grab tools. I gotta grab plastics too and everything. I wanna get that second level upgrade going. If we can. Okay. Great. And... Yep, all that. There we go. Back up to one hundred three thousand. Cool. Um, yeah. So, I need 
need plastics and steel. And who was the cheapest price for those? Depths, plastics, right? And steel was. Steel was. Miner's home. And it ain't that cheap, but it's all we can do. I need a hundred from there. Uh, and I need the plastic that, that was, they had a hundred, right? Yeah, the depths. The depths, Myers home, and then tools, there's only one place to go for that, right? Pretty much. Oh no, uh, Myers home. As of for relatively cheap now. Much cheaper than the forge. Good. All right, so we can get both those at Myers Home. So it's the depths of Myers Home we gotta go to. Let's do that now. Depths with us. Do the depths with us. My fleet. Eleven days, and go. Cool. And we want to get. I think the. Plastics here, right? That's a production plant. Yep. Yeah. Talk with you. Uh, I guess I am going to Myers' home, and I could have grabbed that silica, but yeah, whatever. But well, we're gonna end up back at. Um, At the forge, right? Well, we'll, at, we'll end up back at the dig, and then I can go to the forge, and then head back to Myers Hill. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. At this point. Um, I wonder if I can... No, I guess it, it probably wouldn't let me do that. You know, I could probably... I have the credits. I could probably do two upgrades to it. Because probably another hundred, right? Each time you upgrade. If I get two hundred of each of these things, which I could probably do, then that might work. That might just work. I got the credit. And I definitely, there is definitely a demand for the iron. And I can't do 300 because there's not 300 in this of the one thing. But there was 200. I mean, there was almost 300, but there wasn't enough. Let's try that. Because that could, I could do that in a relatively rapid session. Uh, rapid uh, succession. So we need, um... Read. Let's get 200 plastics. Right. The orbital map. Miner's home. Travel. Bang. There we go. Um, second info. And I want to. I want to grab. Steel. I want 200 steel. Right. And then 200 tools. Yeah. And then I'll get my iron production really picking off. Um, I probably need some fuel too for it, right? Might as well top up the fuel while we're if we're gonna be going there. Uh, where is the best place to get fuel? 